Hello, my name is Adiyemi for Clueless Junkie and in this video I'll be showing you how to construct a staircase. If you're new to this channel or you've been riding with me for long, I need you to do me a quick favor. Please like this video. Surprisingly, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Without further ado, you need to confirm availability of necessary material for constructing the staircase. Um, firstly, uh, the detailed plans for the staircase need to be available. These plans will show the, the width of the staircase, which is uh, showing 3,000 millimeters, and then the run of each flight, which is 4325 of um, the staircase and then the you need to have a tape measure probably somewhere something between 5 meters and 10 meters maybe a 7.5 meter tape measure will do will suffice for that and um, the short tape measure will help to measure the risers and the threads and all that and then uh, a spirit level you need a spirit level and a builder square, but most importantly, you can work with a spirit level without the builder square. So a small spirit level, a short spirit level, sorry. And then um, next, you need a chalk or permanent marker or anything to mark with, to, to mark uh, or stain the walls with. Then we'll be needing three inches nails and two inches nails as much as you can get this will help to join the woodwork together the artisan or carpenter will use the nails then you need planks or plywood planks for majority of the formwork for the staircase really a one by 12 or construction boards really will suffice for that and then a one by six wood this one by six wood is actually has been sewn to the size of the riser I, in, I intend to use. If you, the size of your ri riser is different from six inches, you may need to specify the kind of uh, wood, uh, the particular size you need for the riser. And then a two by two wood for bracing and uh, additional supports where need be for the wood formwork for the staircase and then a range straight edge or a line to draw guidelines yes draw guidelines where necessary and all, all that then the next item is bamboo yes you need bamboo for support this will help create a temporary support for the wood formwork prior to it being casted and all and um an artisan will be needed a uh, more a carpenter most importantly to join the formwork together and prepare the the wood before the iron assembly is placed on it and then uh, the whole thing is casted with a concrete mixture they're allowed to set before being um, stripped and all that so that's that you need to confirm the availability of all these materials and uh, there are others that are not listed here uh, it depends on the kind or the type of uh, staircase being constructed in this instance it's a u-shaped staircase or otherwise called a half tone stair moving on we need to confirm the size of space for staircase. Let's confirm the drawings and um, confirm what's on site and that it is uh, similar to what you have on paper so that in the long run uh, you don't run into errors. So the run of each flight is uh, 4325 and then the width of the staircase is 3000 millimeters and uh, you need to confirm that 
as it is on sites, so it is on the paper. And also the the total rise has to be checked. Now I have my rise here to be 3.450. So that's 3,300 millimeters plus 150 millimeters. That's the rise I'm going to be using for these uh, staircase. Then you need to mark the details on the wall. Now, the 150 mm shows where the intermediate landing is going to be. So I've shared it equally, 1650 up and 1650 down. But in your case, it may be different from what I have here, depending on how you, the flight have been designed. So we establish the intermediate landing with that marking. And then from the drawing, we reference the drawing and get the the details from the drawing, which is 1475 for the landing and then using this spirit level to how to get a perfectly horizontal line, we establish that uh, landing, intermediate landing, and then uh, specify the 1475. From there on, we can extrapolate for the thread there, which is a uh, 275. For each thread and the riser, we need to use the spirit level to make sure that, to be sure that they are perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical. So the treads, the treads are 275 millimeters. And then the riser, I'm using 150 millimeters. They are consistent. Um, these values have been gotten by from extrapolating the the run of my flight and then the the rise of the total rise of the flight so for this flight we establish the threads and rises and rises to get uh, the steps the total steps for the flight of for this flight of the staircase so when you should you don't using the spirit level to get that you need to connect the inner part of the steps together with a straight line this is in a bit to establish the staircase slab or a stringer kind of so you measure i'll measure i'll be using 150 mm which is roughly six inches thickness for the slab that's for the stringer for the stair, stair stringer and then once i have established that uh, 150 mm on the those two guidelines i'll use a straight edge or a range to connect that to have a perfectly parallel line to the inner part of the steps and then connect that and extend the line to the other side of the intermediate landing and then extend it down to the start of the flight so that's establishes the first flight with the stair stringer kind of so moving on we'll, we'll do the same repeat the same for the other flight of stair we establish the width of the landing which is 1475 and then from there from that point get the riser which is 150 mm using the spirit level to achieve a vertical and perfectly horizontal line that is so we'll get one of those we'll perfectly horizontal line with the spirit level and then measure with the short tape measure the the thickness of the thread which is 275 and then measure the height of the riser of each riser using 150 mm and then establish the steps for that flight connect the inner parts of the steps with a, to have a, a straight line and then establish the slab or, or the stair stringer and then once that is done next thing is to get the artisan to place the wood formwork so the wood formwork is placed according to the details that have been established on the wall um, the carpenter drives braces on the walls and then cuts bamboos to sizes sizes that are 
enough and that not too short and not at all, but just uh, sufficient enough to support the the, the two by three or two by two wood that will be that will serve as the support for the board or the planks itself. So these um, intermediate landing is first created. That is on the side of the intermediate landing is created or established uh, using the boards or planks. And then um, they are, it's supported with um, bamboos. And then the bracing for the first flight is done too. And then well supported with bamboos. I'll suggest that the bamboos do not be too spacious since we're using wood. The, it needs to be close enough. So it provides the needed support for the concrete and the reinforcement for the duration of the casting and the setting of the concrete and all that. So the other flight is also established with wood and then the braces are attached and uh, well supported with bamboos and all that. And then once that's done and confirmed, you need to make sure they're perfectly horizontal, check where need be with the spirit level. And then when, as soon as that's been confirmed, the boarding is uh, closed and then prepared for reinforcements. So moving on to pl place reinforcement. Uh, first thing first will be to put to place the beam, the supporting beam for the intermediate landing. The beam provides uh, an additional support for the rebar. And um, safe to say, this um, stage or this process of constructing this deck is goes pari passu with uh, the slab reinforcement. So as this reinforcement is going on, so is the reinforcement for the suspended floor as well. The rebar for this stair is uh, placed. And this illustrates how the the iron are bent and then um, how they're placed. So they are placed in such a way that uh, um, they conform to the engineer's detail. And um, you do not want to get it wrong at this point. It's a crucial stage of the staircase construction process. The reinforcements have to be placed by professionals, most especially engineers, and they have to be placed to the engineer's drawings, to the engineer's specification. And then um, as soon as the reinforcement for this other flight is also placed, now, firstly, these um, these rebars are, are put, and then the distribution bars are also put. So I've tried to put a distinction between the two reinforcements. Um, this one is colored red, and then the other one is uh, is going to be colored yellow. So the there's a bit of a dissimilarity, and then uh, it becomes obvious what we're trying to achieve. And then once the, the rebar, the, the distribution rebars are installed, placed and tied to the engineer's drawing, to the engineer's specification, and uh, you don't want to miss it, you don't want to do a quack job. It has to be well supervised and well placed to achieve a solid staircase, a solid concrete staircase now you notice that the, the the runners on the other part on the landing up there goes with that of the suspended floor so that's how it is done and then uh, reinforcement chairs are installed to separate the top and bottom rebars for additional strength for the reinforcement usually if there's a lighting fixture around the staircase or the side or beneath the staircase, it is at this point that the pipings are installed, that the, the power point and outlets are installed at this point of the process. And then additionally, the damp proofing is done to prevent seeping of a concrete mixture. So the next point is to put additional braces, the sideboard for the flights and then the risers remember the one by six hours are uh, sewn specifically 
for these um, for these steps it is at this point that they are installed and uh, they need to be installed with caution because it's basically the finishing of the staircase so the risers are installed and plumbed correctly with the spirit level they need to be perfectly vertical and perfectly horizontal as possible the detail on the, the wall has to be passed to the sideboard and to get to achieve that you use the spirit level to get a perfectly horizontal point and that is nailed to the sideboard and properly done Exposure reinforcements uh, for the columns are boarded as well and then the other rises are done and placed correctly. You need to measure at every point to be sure that the treads are 275 as indicated in the drawing and um, the rises they would have been sewn to 150 millimeters. So all that needs to be done is to make sure that they, have been correct, they are correctly placed and plumbed with the spirit level and then measured as well checked double checked and all that and then the side button for the floor beam is placed um, you note that the, the final steps actually go into the, the beam so that part has to be removed and then before the the risers are, are then nailed uh, to complete the form work for casting the staircase so um, at this point the final bracing is done you need to realize that the it's not just the staircase that has been casted at this point um, the suspended floor uh, is being casted so the bracing uh, have to be increased or improved upon such that there is no way for breakage to happen or for any error to happen during the casting but it's, it's really difficult to correct any error in in any eventuality of that it's really uh, a bad idea to have the assemblage break and concrete seep during casting so it's best to put the maximum support system and um, introduce braces where need be when necessary and um, after that the next point is to apply the concrete mixture and um, that's that about uh, constructing a staircase i hope you found this video useful please remember to like this video most importantly like the video and then if you're new on my channel hit the subscribe button and then the notification button so you don't miss any future upload catch you on the next one thank you